That must be Rod Roddy. Yeah. It's me. It is. Yes. Who's our player? Come on down. You're the next contestant on the prize. Hey, right. Who doesn't remember that? Whether you were sick home from work or you were an eight-year-old kid like me and you just didn't feel like going to school, you sat around on the couch watching TV all day and that's what exactly what I did. And one of the shows I would watch, 10 a.m. Channel 2 CBS Los Angeles, The Price is Right with, of course, Bob Barker and Rod Roddy. Rod Roddy is from Fort Worth, Texas. He was born here September 28th, 1937. And he was a radio announcer earlier in his career. He basically a disc jockey. Uh, he worked for KLIF and KNUS here in the Dallas Fort Worth area. Then he got a gig in New York, stayed out there for a little bit. And then he came out here and did a talk show on the radio it was called rod roddy's hotline and it was quite controversial it was an open discussion you would call in with whatever the current event whatever the subject on the show it was and guys get this back in those days there was a thing that we had called civility and civil discourse you would call into the show you would disagree with him or you would have an opinion that he disagreed with you on but you guys would just say oh, okay we we agree to disagree but we don't have that anymore but back in the old days in the old days that's how they did things just like that after a while he went on to bigger and greener pastures he went to hollywood and he did some announcing there if you remember the television show soap confused you won't be after this week's episode of Soap. That's a really good, funny TV show. If you guys never heard of it, you need to go check that out. Very, very good show. I used to watch it as a kid. The reruns, fantastic. Uh, fun fact about that show, Casey Kasem was supposed to be the uh, announcer of the show, but he quit because he didn't like the content of the show. Boy, let me tell you something. God bless Casey Kasem's heart. God rest his soul. If he knew what was going on today... On the internet and their content, oh boy, tame as tame can be. So he did that from 1977 to 1981, and he was on a couple of game shows as the announcer. He was on Woo, Love Connection, Hitman, and of course, the uh, good old uh, fashion Press Your Luck. I've watched a couple of those shows on YouTube well, on those sleepless nights. And then he was finally hired on The Price is Right to replace Johnny Olsen, who had died. They had interviewed a couple different announcers, and they only let him announce four times. And the other guys, they announced six and eight times. So he was probably like, what the heck? But they liked him so much, they just hired him. So he was the announcer on The Price is Right for almost 20 years. And he would have those sequence suits I get, you guys remember those suits oh those flamboyant suits by the way he had those custom made in thailand so you know he would go there get measured they would make him his silk suits and he'd bring them back over here uh when he first started with that show he was really really heavy he was really big guys well he was about 400 pounds but uh, he lost about half of his body weight just on diet and exercise and Every time he came out with an even fancier suit, Bob Barker would question this man, like, where did you get this from? Look at this suit. And when Bob didn't think that he could outdo himself, he would do it again. He was very well known with those suits because he wanted a trademark. He wanted something that, you know, separates himself from the others. Uh, he fought a brave battle with cancer. I think he was diagnosed uh and I want to say it was 2001, don't quote me. And uh, it was about with colon cancer. He beat that. He was in remission, but unfortunately it had spread to his chest, his breast. Yes, men have breasts. Yes, that is a thing. And uh, he lost his battle with breast cancer on October 27, 2003. And 
here is his grave. Robert Rod Roddy, world's greatest announcer, the price is right, come on down. I used to watch you many, many mornings when I should have been in school learning about things that I didn't care about, but I'd rather have spent my mornings with you and Bob eating ridiculous amounts of cereal and toast. I was a big fan of toast. Big fan of toast. I don't know why, but that's one of the things that I miss about having a place is having a toaster. The damnedest things when you... Uh, don't have a home but anyways yeah just uh you know part of uh pop culture television history had a great career had a great job great fantastic job i mean i'm sure you're not working too many hours a week and you know you get to fly all around the world getting Fitted for suits in Thailand and all that kind of good stuff. So rest in peace to Robert Rod Roddy. All right, guys. I will catch up with you on the next vlog. I always appreciate it, guys. Stay, stay blessed. Peace out. And don't forget, don't ever, ever, ever take a day that you wake up with your eyes open for granted. Never. Be blessed, guys. No matter how bad things get in your life, just remember tomorrow when you wake up that hopefully it was better than the day previous. I'll catch up with you later. God bless.